guys, I just wanted to show you how I do my puppet from start to finish. So what I have here is I have three strips of paper. Um, this one, I'm gonna show you how to make it extra long, um, but it used to be three and now it's two. So I wanna put two of them aside. And then what I'll do is I put some glue on the end of this and then create one long strip. It is okay if it is like that. It will not harm your puppet. Okay, so give it a couple seconds to dry. Now what you're gonna do is you are going to create, oops, basically the start of a, um, a square. And you're going to go over here and create, so it's kind of like the start of a square right here. And then put something a little bit heavy on it. So I grab my scissors. <clears throat> and then you're gonna do the same thing with this piece as well. You're gonna create the start of a T. And then let this dry. My coffee cup <laughs> will be its weight. Okay, so now that it is drying and it uh, you have put pressure on it, the pressure is what helps it to dry. That's why I say, uh, you'll notice that I'll say, hold it for a little while um, throughout this video. So now we're going to get to folding it. We are going to turn this into an accordion style thing. So um, always keep it on the desk. Do, or table, do not lift it off the desk or table. Press one finger down, you're gonna look and decide which one is touching the table. The bottom part is touching the table, that is the yellow one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fold it up. And then I'm gonna grab the other color and fold it over so that it folds like this. Notice, I did not lift it off of the table. Fold it back, fold it back over. You are going back and forth with each color. I do not lift it off the table. And you are going to do it with both of these T's. So you're gonna have, basically you're gonna have one long one and one short one. So I need to be a little careful because there's actually some sticky glue still right here. And I don't want that to stick together. There we go. Having the same problem right there. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a couple seconds work on this one. Same thing. Pick whichever one is on the bottom, fold it over the top one, and you are just going all the way down. Once you get to the end, and this one folds pretty much all the way over, so we're gonna use that one. Once you get to the end, you're gonna put glue on this piece, and then you are going to press it down. Press, 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 press. Okay, and then I have this little extra piece right here. So, 
not a good idea. It's okay. I'm going to use my scissors and cut it off. Okay, and then place it under something heavy, like your scissors. Actually, I'm going to do that. Like your scissors to kind of press down that glue that we just did. Okay. And then I'm going to continue on this one. It's not sticky anymore. Good. All right. So um, since I stopped, I'm going to show you guys. This one is the next one to be folded over because red is on top. So I need to pull the one from the bottom on top. I still did not lift it off the table. If you are flipping it to fold it, it's not going to turn out correctly. Okay, so we fold this over and red covers uh, all of it. So, there's the bell, guys. <laughs> I'm at school. And do that, and then I'm gonna place my scissors on top of this one now, and I'm gonna show off. Ah. There we go. I'm gonna show off the other one so you can see what it looks like. So what it'll end up looking like is a kind of an accordion piece, okay? You're gonna have two different sizes. One is gonna be much bigger than the other. <clears throat> this is the small one, that one's the big one. Okay, next up, you are going to need a smaller piece of paper. You notice it is not as thin as the other colors. It's about uh, double the size of the other colors than these were but it's not as long. Um, the length is not that important. It just, it needs to be a little thicker. And you're gonna roll this, boys and girls, you are going to roll it. So it kind of looks like a toilet paper roll in terms of size, okay? So um, you wanna make sure it's small enough to fit onto your square. That's actually a little small. If you make it a little bit small, what you do is hold it in your hand and kind of just gently let it out and it'll slowly open up, okay? So that looks a little better. Yeah, that's a good size. So when you're ready, you will then grab your glue, put it right on the very, very edge and press it down. Okay, boys and girls, you notice I am not squishing the entire tube when I'm pressing down. I put two fingers on the inside, two fingers on the outside to squeeze it closed. This part, you have to squeeze closed for a while so that the glue sticks. Because it's round, it's not going to want to glue quite as well as our rectangular pieces did. So make sure that you hold it, hold it, hold it really, really tight for a while. And if necessary, grab some tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I need to grab my tape anyways. Grab the tape, place it on that edge if you need to, and bam, you're ready. Okay, so now we are moving on to our next part. Like I said, oh, I need to cut this off. I forgot to do that earlier. Sorry, guys. And so I have this teeny little red piece hanging over the edge as well, so I will cut off that one. Okay, so I have my long one and I have my short one, okay? So with the long one, this is going to become the mane of your lion. <laughs> the mane is the piece around the head that is all hairy and it makes it really look like a lion. So what you're going to do, 
Go ahead and stretch it out to make sure that it will stretch. Remember I was talking about how I didn't want my glue to stick? This is why it was so important the glue didn't stick to the other pieces. It wouldn't stretch out the same way and it wouldn't work. So grab your glue again. If you're using glue stick, it shouldn't take as long to dry. If y'all are using the liquid glue, it'll take a little bit longer to dry. So you'll need a little bit more time. So you're gonna find one end of it. You're going to put glue all over the end. Do not be shy about using glue for this part. Then you're going to grab the other end And we're going to pull it into a circle. Fold and then hold. So it looks like a circle, but I am holding it right here to let my glue stick. Same thing like this when you have to make sure that you hold the glue because right now there's pieces of it want to pull it apart so that it won't stick anymore. So it's your job to hold it together while that glue sticks. Like I said, this kind of glue, glue stick, it's not going to take as long, but the, um, the, the, the liquid glue will take a little bit longer. So hold, hold, hold. I actually, when I first made this project, I actually um, put a, a paper clip to hold it on, but I'm not going to do that right now. But that is an option for you if you wanna put it down and go work on something else. Hold, hold, hold. So this is going to be the main of your body. Boys and girls, it should be able to stretch open, kind of like a scrunchie. Um, if you know what a scrunchie looks like, it should be able to open up. But I, I noticed um, just a second ago that when I tried to open it, it my, my glue squished a little bit. So it's, that means it's not sticking quite yet. So, Okay, gonna put that aside for just a minute. So now, boys and girls, what we're gonna do is we're connecting our body. This is going to be your body to our head. This will be part of your head. So you're going to need a tape for this one, okay? So um, what you're going to do for this is, first thing, grab your head. You're going to place a piece of tape halfway on. So it, part of it's on here, part of it is on here. You're gonna grab one of the ends of your body piece. And you're gonna look for where you can fold the tape over. So you're gonna place your tape right here and fold it under so that it will um, be attached to the body. So you guys can see that I folded it under right there. And then you're gonna grab another piece of tape, okay? And you're gonna do the same thing. Place half of it onto the, the head piece, this piece. And you're gonna place the other half underneath. Let's see if I can show you. Underneath and fold it under. I will say in class, this is the part people struggle with the most. So you may need a parent's help on this part, okay? <clears throat> now, oh no. This came unglued. Okay, I'm gonna go grab a paper clip. <coughs> and actually, you can use tape for this now that I think about it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tape it. There we go. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to attach our, these are going to be these two straws, two sticks, popsicle sticks, straws, anything works, are going to be the legs. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a piece of tape. You're gonna make sure the tape creates a T at one of the ends. And you're gonna grab the side that does not have your head attached to it. 
And you're going to gently place it right there on the very, very end. And I extended it a little too far, so I'm just gonna cut off my extra. Careful not to cut your actual puppet. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna place, make it like a T at the very end. And boys and girls, this is the harder part. You wanna try and make sure that your, uh, your two legs are going to be parallel so they're not ever going to touch. So you are going to place it on the inside up near the head. Try and make it so that they go in the same direction. It may twist a little bit once you un, um, once you open it up, but it should end up looking like this. Last part is going to be putting on this mane. So you kind of squish, squish it out like it was, remember we talked about how it's like a scrunchie? I'm gonna place it in there. And there you go. That is your lion puppet. It is all finished and y'all did a great job. Thank you guys. Bye.